Hi guys, Joje from Sharp11 Music here. Today I want to share with you some inspiring and inventive voices in the saxophone landscape and I'll give you my top 3 of artists that are exploring the saxophone in a great new way, each in its own way. In this video I won't be talking about the great saxophone players that elaborated and expanded on certain parts like for example the great Chris Potter or Joel Frame. I'll give you an overview of saxophonists that I personally personally consider to be very inventive and try new paths on both the saxophone and composition. Let's start with the most rock star one, Donny McCaslin. The first time I heard of him was on David Bowie's last recording, Black Star. The band on that record was so vibrant and unusual for a pop record as well as the saxophone player's sound design was magnificent. I just had to look up that band of course and discovered the very organic and expressive band of Donny McCaslin. They really continue the same sound and energy on their own albums like they did with David Bowie and you probably could call it fusion because there is a big overlap between pop, rock, electronics and jazz. Jazz. Nice. <laughs> McCaslin himself has a very interesting way of playing the saxophone. Sometimes behaving rather like a guitarist, playing with the saxophone with ambient sounds, reverbs, delays, like he did on Bowie's record for the most part. Or the opposite, playing like jazz lines over an electronic setting, an ambient setting, but then the saxophone sounds sometimes really dry and really it has a lot of impact. You can hear a bit of inspiration from beings like Michael Brecker when he solos using also false fingerings and stuff like that, but he has really his own way adapted to this. Nice. His most recent music is going to the synth pop genre, where he uses his doubles like clarinet and flute in a very interesting way as well and in terms of arrangement. <laughs> Lastly, the way the video clips are being shot and edited deserve a big shout out itself. The production value is very high and more in the style of contemporary pop artists. Miguel Zanon is a Puerto Rican saxophonist, a multiple Grammy nominee and a member of the San Francisco Jazz Collective. Zanon is a hell of a beast of a saxophone player and probably best described as a hard bop player. His sound and phrasing seem to have some cannonball inspiration blended together with some very apparent folklore roots from Puerto Rico. I'm Puerto Rican, I grew up around a lot of music, a lot of very strong like cultural traditions and folkloric music. But what makes his obvious sound vision is his conceptual arranging, putting in some complex polyrhythms or ostinatos, bit of extreme heavy reharmonization, add a Puerto Rican folklore song, put it in a blender and you get this. <laughs> This was from his latest record called Soneo, but I'm following Zenon for much a longer time and he used the same arranging techniques on quite some other settings like for example this string quartet.
or another album is with a classical woodwind ensemble. <laughs> That he is rhythmically strong on the saxophone seems no surprise. He is really in his element when he has some polyrhythms like 7 over 5. He literally dances to it. And the third artist is Colin Stetson. Colin Stetson is a multi-instrumentalist to the wide public better known for his work with Arcade Fire or Bon Iver. But to the saxophone community, he's known as an amazing solo performer. His way of composing on the saxophone by simulating chord progressions through a rapid fire of overtones and even singing on top of that is just mesmerizing. <laughs> His music is very spiritual and meditative and it's even better experienced in a live concert. I saw him live a few years ago and I still regularly think back about the beautiful soundscapes I heard there and I can't recommend enough to go and see him live. Notice also how he puts his microphones at quite some odd places, like for example the microphones on the right hand down at the lower keys to amplify the rhythmic sound of the keys there or there is also a microphone on the throat for his very intriguing singing. Here is a little example where you can see that miking quite well on this bass saxophone feature. <laughs> special soundscapes and structures didn't go unnoticed. He has some credits in soundtracks like the horror movie Hereditary. So, would do you consider using the saxophone in an inventive way these days? I would love to learn more and discover likewise artists always pushing the envelope and discovering new possibilities on the saxophone. Let me know who you like doing new stuff in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I've been Jorre from Sharp11 Music. See you next time.